Here we go. The excitement's building and we're now one week away from the stellar event of the century. And today we're kicking off Eclipse Fest, our week long celebration of the upcoming solar eclipse. Meteorologist Kitty Fellinger shows us why this event is so momentous. A total solar eclipse happens somewhere on the planet every 18 months or so, but the one we'll experience on August 21st is extraordinary. A rare cross country trip of the century will become a celestial event for the history books. It's a cosmic show usually seen from space, but soon the best view will be on American soil. A total solar eclipse, the first one that will be seen in the U.S. in decades. This is a 99 year event. It's been 99 years since a total solar eclipse crossed the entire U.S. from the west coast to the east coast. On August 21st, the moon will pass between the sun and earth. Its shadow will race across the country at an average speed of about 1,500 miles an hour, covering a swath roughly 70 miles wide. Day will turn to night, and temperatures will drop as much as 25 degrees. Here in the Philadelphia area, we'll see a partial eclipse. The sun will be about 80% covered. It'll begin at 1.20 p.m. and peak at 2.44 p.m. These cosmic moments when nature speaks to us in an emotional way sometimes come loud, like thunderstorms, storms, uh, like hurricanes, earthquakes, but this one will be silent. Total eclipse spectators will have a chance to view the sun's corona. That area expels electromagnetic energy and matter into the solar system, which can have a real world impact here on Earth. It messes with um, GPS, with communication systems, even power grids. It can also mess with your eyes. The sun is way too bright for your eyes. Do enjoy it, but be safe. The best way to enjoy the spectacle is with special viewing glasses. And as our Eclipse Fest coverage continues this week, we'll share ways for you to watch this historic event safely with your family. I'm meteorologist Katie Failing, our CBS3 Eyewitness News.